Now, question number 11. See the picture which I am drawing here. And you need to identify what is this picture all about. So before that, tell me, is it a 2D or a 3D picture? Yes, you are correct. It's a cuboid and it's a 3D picture. So, in a cuboid, how many faces are there? What are the faces here? You can see one face here on the top. You have one face here on the bottom. You have one towards the back. You have one towards the front. And then you have one in the 5 and 6. So, cuboid is nothing but it is the face in the sense. Suppose if I take this duster. It is a shape of a cuboid, right? So, how many faces are there? Shall we count the number of faces here? It is number 1. The bottom is number 2, the side is number 3, the back side is 4, the right hand side is 5 and the left hand side is 6. So, how many faces are there in the cuboid? It is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So, how many faces a cuboid has? Cuboid has got 6 faces. And how many corners does it have? Shall we count the number of corners? It is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. So, how many corners a cuboid has? It has got 8 corners and 6 faces. Do you want me to explain again? Shall we count the number of faces again? It is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So, a cuboid has got 6 faces. And how many corners it has? It is 1, 2, 3, 4 towards the back, 5, 6, 7 and 8. So, there are 6 faces and 8 corners in a cuboid. Are you clear? So, shall we move on to the next question? Here comes your next question. So, now this is a quadrilateral. So, as I said, a quadrilateral means four sides, quadrilateral. So, the word quad refers to Four. Okay. So, there are four sides in a quadrilateral and a quadrilateral has only one side equal. The other side may not be equal. Okay. So, if we name the figure as A, B, C and D. So, my A, B will not be equal to C, D. But, my AC will be equal to BD. So, in short, a quadrilateral is a figure which is drawn with four sides having only one side equal. It means that it has only one equal side. Okay? So, keeping this basic point in mind, here comes your next question. Now, you have to identify which among these is a quadrilateral. Okay? So, is it option A? Is it option B? Option C? Or option D? So, which among the following is a quadrilateral? You are correct. Option A is a quadrilateral because it is a rectangle form with four sides having one side equal. Is it clear? Shall we move to the next question? Yes. So, here is your next question. Now, you have to tell me this figure is an example of what line? Is it a straight line? Is 
is it a vertical line? Is it a slanting line? Or is it a curved line? See the picture carefully and tell me which is the right option. Is it a straight line or a vertical line, a slanting line or a curved line? Good. The answer is option D. It's a curved line. It is starting with a small sleeping line and then it bends and forms a curved line. So are you clear with it? Shall we move to the next question? Here is your next question. Now, you all know this is a rectangle. Your question is, how many sides a rectangle has? Is it four sides? Is it five sides? Is it six sides? Or is it eight sides? Count the sides and tell me how many sides a rectangle has. 1, 2, 3 and 4. So your right option will be answer A. Now the next question is question number 15 where you have to identify the shape of a quadrilateral. Okay. So tell me which is the right option of a quadrilateral, whether it's A, B, C or D. What shape is option A? It is just a combination of two straight lines where you don't have an closed end. So this is not a shape. What about this one? 1, 2, 3 and 4. Is it an example of a quadrilateral? Yes, because it has got four sides with one equal side. So, option B is the right answer. Is C and D a quadrilateral? No, because C has got one, two, three, four, five, five sides, whereas option D is an example of a circle which has got no sides at all. Okay, so now we will go to question number 16. Now, in question number 16, you have to identify which among these is a square. Is it option A, B, C or D? What is the shape? Correct. It is a triangle because it has got 1, 2 and 3 sides. What about option B? Option B is a diamond shape where the sides are not equal which means that it is not a square because a square has got all the sides equal. How about option C? 1, 2, 3, 4 and all the sides are equal. So my option C is the right answer. What about option D? This is not a square because there are five sides here and all are of different length. So my right answer will be option C. Now, next question. You have to identify and tell me how many triangles are there in this picture. Whether it is 1, whether it is 2, whether it is 3 or whether it is none of these. So, shall we count the number of triangles here? It's 1, 2 and 3. So, 1 triangle and 1, 2, 3. The second triangle. So, my right option is option B. Okay. Now, the next question again, you have to identify how many slanting lines are there in this picture. 
whether it's one, whether it's two, whether it's three, or whether it's five. So, which is a slanting line here? Is this a slanting line? No, it's a slipping line. Is this a slanting line? No, it is a straight line. Is this a slanting line? Yes, this is a slanting line. And how many slanting lines we have? We have one and two. So, my right answer is option B, which is two. Let's do question number 19. Now, in this question, you have to tell me which of the following shape is has got a circular shape. Is it A? Is it B? Is it C? Or is it option D? So, you have to tell me which among these has got the shape of a circle. Yes, you are correct. The ball has got a shape of a circle. Your next question is, you have to tell me what is the shape of a globe. You all know what is a globe? A globe is a representation of earth, right? Where you can see different states, different countries and what and the things are present on the earth, the water bodies, the land, the countries, many things, right? So, now you have to tell me what is the shape of the earth? Is it a rectangle or a triangle or a square or a circle? Good. Your answer is circle. Have you seen a globe which is in blue color? And you have got lot of information displayed about the countries, the sea, the land, the territories and all the things. Right? So, this is a model of the world which we can study in our higher classes. Okay? Now, the next question comes here. Here, you need to identify and tell me in this picture how many straight lines are there. Option A is 1, option B is 3, option C is 5 and option D is 0. So, shall we count the number of straight lines? 1, 2, 3. Is this a straight line? No, it is a curved line. So, what is the right answer? It is 1, 2 and 3. So, option B is my right answer. Okay? Now, coming to the next question, you need to identify and tell me how many rectangles can you find in this picture? Can you see this picture? Yes. You have to tell me how many rectangles are there. Is it option A or option B or option C or the last option? Shall we count the number of rectangles? It is 1, 2, the third layer here and the fourth level here. So, how many rectangles are there? 1, 2, 3 and 4. So, your right answer is option A which is 4. Now, I will give you a little twisted question. Now, this is the figure which I have got here. Okay? I will name them as A, B, C, D and E. Now, you have to tell me how many straight lines are involved in this shape. Is it option A 5, option B 6, option C 7 and option D 4? Can we count the number of straight lines? Remember, I am talking about the straight lines. Okay? This is 
not a straight line it is a curved line okay can we count the number of straight line it's ab is ab a straight line no ab is not a straight line it's a curved line how about ae it is a straight line so 1 2 3 and 4 so how many straight lines are there it's 5 4 7 or 4 option d4 is the right answer there are four straight lines and one curved line in this figure